Hello there, my name is Ismaus and today we're going to be looking at how to animate a book or a magazine in Blender under 5 minutes. Add a plane in your scene and I want to have the pivot point of that plane at one of the edges. So we're going to go to edit mode and then move this uh, so that we have the pivot point uh, there. When we rotate this page on the Y axis, it's rotating around its pivot point. I want to scale this in the, in the Y axis, so subdivide this a few times, a few edge loops there and add a simple deform modifier. Uh, so you can see this gives us a nice twist, but uh, what we want is the bend. Sometimes it's very hard to, to know the right axis, so what I would recommend to do is add an empty like this and use this axis as the deform axis. So I'm going to select that. I can rotate this on the x-axis and you can see that uh, it gives me the right bend. So this can bend uh, like that. Uh, to make the page look even more realistic, we can add in that twist uh, so that when the pages are flipping, have that uh, small twist in them so for that we add a simple deform again we can have this move above uh, the bend so that we have something like that now if we rotate this on the x-axis on the y-axis let's first reduce the twist angle just a bit here rotate this you can see what we have now there is that effect that happens around here to avoid that, we're just going to select the empty or the axis of rotation and parent it to the object itself. Now, if we rotate this again on the y-axis, we won't have uh, that issue anymore. The first animate uh, the page movement or the page rotation. So I'm just going to add a keyframe there. And then Delete that so this is the animation we have. So the page flips and then comes back to its rest. We're just going to use the rotation of the page to tell Blender when, or to tell these modifiers when to twist and when to bend uh, the page uh, by utilizing drivers. So let's do that. So let's right click on this and then add a new driver. Target uh, the page rotation itself so we can uh, go back. We can open the driver editor so that we have everything here. Now what we want to get is the object Y rotation, so let's find that will be the Y rotation. And you can already see that we have a slight bend in our page. So if we move this, you can see. The problem is it's not bending all the way to this side. If I disable this for a second, you can see that our page bends all the way to this side. But when I have the modifier on, it never really goes that far. I played around with different driver expressions and the, the one I found uh, that works best is uh, the sine wave. So if I use sine of this variable and uh, this variable is just the rotation, the angle of rotation uh, for this plane, you can see that uh, it gives us uh, the results uh, we want. And just copy the value as the expression as it is there and uh, it should be, uh, it should work just fine. You can see now the page bends whenever we want it to bend. And we're going to use the same driver. So I'm just going to copy that and paste that on the, on the twist. And uh, that should also give us a nice twist. Make sure to turn on uh, the twist modifier to see the results and you can see uh, the results we're having. So it is twisting, but uh, it's twisting quite a lot. So what I'm going to do is just divide this value, whatever value we're getting here by two so that the twist is not uh, that heavy. Now that we have the animation for the page, for a single page, let's just uh, add a texture and duplicate the other pages a few times uh, to have multiple pages. You can see now we have a page. Then to have multiple images or multiple pages, you just duplicate this one. Let me just change this to the outliner. Turn off the keyframe recording, Shift D, to have that. and. Uh, just offset uh, these keyframes. Let's see. 